hello guys assalamu alaikum welcome to my youtube channel i hope you all are fine in today's tutorial we are going to discuss how to implement scheduled notifications in flutter application so in order to uh, implement scheduled notifications we need to add a package local notifications you can see flutter local notifications first of all we need to add this package into our flutter project here open terminal write a command flutter pub add here paste the name of package that you want to add and press enter now our package has been added successfully now in order to implement notifications here let me create a new file name it as notification helper and inside this file let me create a class uh, notification helper like this now first of all let me import a package of letter uh, local notifications letter uh, local notifications then we need to add another package time zone time zone as tz and another package package time zone data latest all as tz these two packages are very important while implementing uh, scheduled notifications now here first of all uh, let me create a variable static final name it as notifications and initialize it with flutter uh, local notifications plugin like this now first of all we need to initialize our uh, notification here let me create a function static uh, function name it as init you can give it name as init or initialization here first of all uh, let me write notifications dot initialize and initialization settings and inside initialization setting we need to pass two parameters first one is android android initialization settings and here we need to give path of our uh, icons for notifications here we will give at the rate of uh, mip map ic launcher this is the uh, path of icon you can see if you open android folder app source main inside main resource and here you can see there are different folders uh, name as mip map and each folder has a, a launcher icon you can see ic launcher so this is the path of our ic launcher you can see here so this is the icon of the notification the second parameter is ios uh, here we need to give uh, darwin initialization setting like this now our notifications has been uh, initialized successfully the next step is uh, to initialize time zone tz dot initialize time zones you can see this is very important for our uh, scheduled notifications so our uh, time zone is very important uh, to set scheduled notifications because it depends on time and date now here simply we will create a function uh, to trigger notifications when user will uh, set scheduled notifications then this function will be called we can uh, create a function static scheduled notification here we will pass two parameters uh, string title and body like this now here uh, simply we will call notifications dot zone schedule there is a function uh, zone schedule zone schedule like this here inside uh, this function we need to pass different parameters if you hover it you can see first of all we need to give a id integer then title then body and then schedule date time 
first of all let me give id for example id 0 title title is uh, you can see given title body we are using title from uh, title and body from parameters the next parameter let me see next parameter is uh, tz date time here we need to give tz date time tz dot tz date time dot no here here we will set local tz dot local because we want current date time of our uh, device then add here we will add uh, duration uh, for example duration 10 seconds when user will set the notifications it will trigger after 10 seconds for now we are just uh, in testing purpose we will set 10 seconds let me see next parameter next parameter is uh, notification details now we ha don't have notification detail first of all let me create notification detail uh, notification details notification details you can see here notification details so inside notification details we need to pass uh, uh, two parameters for now for android and ios here let me create notification details for android android uh, details android notification details and here we need to give a uh, channel id and channel name let me give channel id for example uh, important notifications like this and channel name you can give any name uh, for example my channel like this you can also pass other parameters if you over it you can see there are different parameters uh, we can set uh, importance and priority let me set importance importance max importance dot max and priority priority we can set high priority because this is a uh, scheduled notifications uh, this application is like an alarm application so the importance and priority should be high and max so this is the details uh, of android notifications here we can pass android details android and android details like this same like this now uh, we will create uh, details for ios for ios uh, here we will create darwin notification details so far now we don't need to pass any parameter uh, like this simply here uh, set ios ios details now our notification detail is ready we can pass here notification details now let us see uh, next parameter the next parameter is ui local notification date interpretation let me check it ui we can set here uh, absolute time we want to trigger notification on fixed time the next one is android schedule mode exact allow while idle it will trigger the notifications even if our device is in idle state this is for uh, this line is for android and this is for ios so the notification will be triggered even if our device is in idle state so this is async function here we need to uh, give await keyword and here async like this so our notification part is ready here here first of all we need to give here a widgets flutter binding ensure initialize this line is very important so after this line we will initialize our notifications notifications helper dot in it so before initializing notifications we make sure that our flutter framework has been initialized so this is the line uh, in order to ensure that flutter framework has been initialized successfully so this line is for initializing our notifications now we can uh, call our notifications in our application 
but before this we need to add some permissions uh, let me show you this is documentation for our uh, scheduled notifications first of all we need to add uh, receive boot complete permission in our manifest file for android open android folder then app source main here manifest file here before application tag we need to paste our permission boot permission receive boot completed permission the next permission uh, we need to add here this is here schedule exact alarm this is our second permission we need to add it in our manifest and then we need to add receiver these two receivers in our application tag inside application tag here before before application tag here we need to add now we are done here we will create a button to trigger our notifications elevated button on pressed when button will pressed here we will call our uh, scheduled notifications title uh, for now scheduled and body this is scheduled notification and child uh, title of the button will be schedule now now let me run the application and test our notification now our application has been launched successfully now let me click schedule now button now we need to wait uh, 10 seconds then it will show the notification here you can see uh, we received notification with title and body now let me test it again if i again click the button now we need to wait 10 seconds you can see again we received notifications after 10 seconds so this is the way we can implement scheduled notifications in flutter application we will receive this notification even if our uh, application is closed uh, let me schedule notification now let me close the application you can see our application has been closed now we will receive notification you can see here this is showing notification so this is the way we can implement scheduled notifications in flutter if you have any question in your mind you can ask in comment box or you can contact me directly on whatsapp okay good luck